Today we're taking a look at the latest version of Void Linux, especially if you're interested in ARM-based devices like Apple Silicon, Raspberry Pi or even lightweight laptops like the Pinebook Pro. Void Linux just dropped a major update, so let's break it down. If you're new to Void Linux, here is a quick rundown. Void is an independent Linux distribution meaning it's not based on Debian, Ubuntu or Arch. Instead it does things its own way. It's lightweight, fast and built for users who want full control over their system. One of the key features of Void Linux is its roaring release model. That means instead of waiting for big versions updates like Ubuntu or Fedora, Void continuously updates itself. If you install Void today, you're always on the latest version. No need to reinstall your system every 6 months or a year. Another cool thing about Void is that it uses the run it init system instead of systemd. This makes boot times faster and keeps the system lean and efficient. Void Linux released its latest set of system images and the biggest news is that this release brings support for more ARM64 devices. If you don't know what ARM64 is, is the process architecture used in devices like Apple Silicon Max, Raspberry Pi and some lightweight laptops like the Lenovo ThinkPad X13s and Pinebook Pro. Until now, running Linux on these devices has been tricky, but Void Linux is making it much easier. With this release, you can now install Void Linux on Apple Silicon Max like M1, M2 and M3, Lenovo ThinkPad X13s, a super lightweight ARM powered laptop, Pinebook Pro, a budget friendly ARM laptop for Linux enthusiasts, plus any other ARM64 device that supports UEFI booting and a standard Linux kernel. That's a big deal for people who want to run a lightweight, high-performance Linux system on these devices. Besides new devices support, this update comes with some fresh software updates and bug fixes. Here is what's new. Linux kernel 6.12, meaning better hardware support, performance improvements and security updates. If you like lightweight desktops, the XFCE edition of Void now comes with the newly released XFCE 4.20 which brings visual and performance improvements. Linux 6.6.69 for Raspberry Pi If you're running Void Linux on a Raspberry Pi, this release ensures you get the most stable and well-supported kernel for the platform. New XGen FSTAP tool. This tool helps generate the slash FSTAP file, which is important for mounting drives in Linux, making installation easier for newcomers. The Void team has also fixed some annoying issues in this release. For example, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you may have had trouble booting Void Linux before. This update fixes that. A new menu option in the bootloader allows you to disable graphics if you run into display issues. More hotkeys have been added to the bootloader, making it easier to navigate. You can check the official handbook for a full list. Raspberry Pi images are now smaller by default, but they will automatically resize the root partition to fit your SD card or storage when you first boot. The Void installer now has a post-installation menu that lets you enable important system services right away instead of manually setting them up later. All of these changes make installing and using Void Linux easier and more user-friendly. So why should you care about this update? If you own an Apple Silicon Mac, Lenovo ThinkPad X13s or Pinebook Pro, you now have another great Linux option. If you're a Raspberry Pi user, you get a more efficient and up-to-date Linux experience. If you're already using Void Linux, you'll notice better hardware compatibility and fewer bugs. And if you're thinking about trying Void Linux for the first time, now is a great time to jump in. If you're interested in downloading and trying Void Linux, head over to their official website or one of their mirrors. They offer different installation images depending on your system. For example, regular live ISOs for standard desktops and laptop installs. Raspberry Pi platform images for ARM-based single board computers. And Moose-based version for those who want a lightware alternative C library. Installation is straightforward and if you need help, the Void Linux handbook is a great resource. Plus, the community is always around to help in forums and IRC channels. And that's everything you need to know about the latest Void Linux update. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Linux content. Also, let us know in the comments, are you using Void Linux? 
Are you planning to try it out on an ARM device? We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.